Alright, in this video we're going to see how to find the equation of a line. And in the first example we're going to see how to find the equation of a line passing through two points where we have the coordinates of the points. Uh, so if you know the two points, you want to use the slope formula and find the slope of the line. So it's a good idea to take the two points and then uh, identify them. So I go ahead and label and say x1, y1 is 3, 7. So x1 is 3, y1 is 7. This will make it easier for substituting into the formula. x2, y2 would be, then be the 1 half negative 5. So x2 is 1 half and y2 is negative 5. Now I substitute into the formula. So y2 is negative 5, and y1 is 7, and x2 is 1 half, and x1 is 3. And we just want to simplify that. So we'll subtract first. And at the top, we get negative 5 and negative 7 is negative 12. On the bottom, we have 1 half minus 3, or 1 half minus 6 halves, which would be negative 5 halves. Right, and dividing by, dividing by negative 5 halves is the same as multiplying by 2 fifths. The negatives will cancel. And we'll get 2 times 12 is 24 over 5. So we got our slope. The next step is to get the y-intercept. Now you could be lucky and be given that as one of the points, but here we are not. So what we're going to do is use the slope that we have and one of the points that we have. And we're going to substitute into this formula. So we can replace the slope. with this number, 24 over 5. And we can place x and y with the coordinates of one of the points. Let's use the um, x1, y1, 3, 7. So x is 3, and y is 7. And now you have a nice linear equation of one variable that you can solve for b, which is the y-intercept. So multiplying by 3 there, we'll get 72. And then we need to subtract 72 from both sides. And on the right side, the 72 over 5 and the negative 72 over 5 add to 0, so we just have b. On the left side we have 7 minus 72 over 5, and 7 is 35 over 5, so 35 minus 72 would be negative 37 over 5. Now you just take the slope m and the y-intercept b that you found and you use that to write out the equation of the line. So replace m with 24 over 5, and b with negative 37 over 5. And you can use this equation for graphing or for other problems, but we just wanted to get that. So we can leave x and y as variables, get a nice linear equation of two variables. Now, one of the other situations you might have is that you're actually given the graph, and from the graph you want to find the equation. So given this graph, let's find the equation of the line. Again, we still want to find the slope, and you can pull off two points and use the formula, but it's nice to use a right triangle connecting two points. So using the grid line, notice that 
there are some nice points right here at 0, 3, and another one at 2, negative 1, and another one here, and another one here. So I connect two of these, any two of those would work. So let's just pick two. We'll just use the first two. Okay. So using those two points, we're going to draw a right triangle. And so we're going to drop it down, and get the vertical leg, and then go over and get the horizontal leg. Now the lengths of these legs of the triangle are the rise and run of the slope. The vertical leg is the rise, so our rise is uh, 4 and the run is the horizontal leg, which is 2. Now if the line is decreasing or goes down as you go left to right, then you're going to want to make sure that the run is negative. So as you move from this point, I want you to go down 4, right 2. Okay, so we had a rise was equal to negative 4, and the run was equal to 2. So that means our slope is... negative 4 over 2, which simplifies to negative 2. Uh, we also want to find the y-intercept when we're given the graph. And you can just identify that from the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So going back to the graph here, we know that we actually did that as our first point found that 0, 3 is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So just from inspection you can see that as well. So the y-intercept is 0, 3, which means b equals 3. And just like before, we can take m and b and use that to get the equation of the line. So replace m with negative 2 and b with 3. And that's our equation.